I'm Chester Finn, president of the Thomas B. Fordham Institute, a nonprofit education reform think tank and advocacy organization based in Washington, D.C. and Ohio. At Fordham, we focus exclusively on primary secondary education in the United States with occasional international perspectives and comparisons. We start with the premise that few American youngsters are learning as much as they should, and far too few of them have decent choices among quality schools. The Thomas B. Fordham Institute is about 15 years old. It began as a private foundation in memory of an Ohio industrialist who died in the 1940s, uh, the year I was born, actually. And after his widow passed away in the mid-1990s, the board asked me to lead it. I agreed, so long as its work focused on my own longstanding passion for education reform. We're a two-barreled organization. In Washington, we function primarily as a policy analysis, research, and advocacy shop with a staff of about 15, putting out some 10 major studies a year, a weekly electronic newsletter called The Education Gadfly, a lively blog, frequent events, podcasts, webcasts, and lots more. In Ohio, on the ground, with offices in both Dayton and Columbus, and about five staff members living there, we function more as an advocacy and action organization, advising governors, advising legislators, sometimes arguing with them, sponsoring charter schools, we're up to 10 of them now, and duking it out with establishment forces that care more about adult interests than about getting kids, particularly poor kids, a solid education. To my knowledge, we're the only reform organization in education in America with both a national view and a real world on the ground venue. And this has turned out to be hugely beneficial. Washington functions as our research center, Ohio serves as our reality test, and we see a lot of synergy between them. Ten years ago, we found ourselves able to do more than the private foundation's modest endowment could support. So we reorganized into the Thomas B. Fordham Institute, which is a public charity and has sought additional financial support from dozens of others whose pockets are deeper than our own. Our endowment covers now about 35% of our total budget, which is in the $5 million range. And our endowment enables us to keep the lights on and to use other people's money for substantive work. That work now focuses on four big topics in primary secondary education. The first is standards, testing, and accountability, a key reform engine that's been made more promising but also more complicated by the recent arrival of new quasi-national standards for English and math called the Common Core Standards. The second area we focus on are quality choices for every student. We construe school choice broadly, including online options, charter schools, voucher programs, magnet schools, and plenty more. There's lots of fish in that sea. Our third focus is on stretching the school dollar. We've come to understand that with budgets flat or declining, America needs a lot more bang for its education buck. And that includes, on our part, we think clear thinking about sensitive topics such as special ed and teacher pensions. Fourth and most recently, uh, we've turned to the problems of education governance. We've come to believe that the 19th century structures and governance arrangements of public education have become archaic, dysfunctional, and function as major roadblocks to needed reforms. Yes, it's a daunting agenda, but we have a great staff, a terrific nine-member board, access to all kinds of outside expertise and experts, and a history of teaming up with other groups, national and state-based, in pursuit of common interests. All of those common interests focus on getting children, particularly poor kids, a higher quality, content-rich, and more rigorous education than most of them are getting today. So is this liberal or conservative or what? Well, the world sometimes calls us conservative because we favor choice and accountability, even accountability for teachers. I call us radical because we're trying to change this system big time, not keep it the way it is.